Hello and welcome back. This is David from the Personal Finance Squad. We just finished up with section 2.4, managing bill due dates, knowing that we have cash available to pay for the bills when they are coming due. Now section 2.5 is carryover bills and automatic bill pay. This is a little bit of an extension of the other section 2.4 and we just want to run through it really quickly about what we can do to flex our budget a little bit further if we don't always have the cash there. Keeping in mind, however, we will always pay our bills. We will not divert on our bills. Very, very important. So this is a quick reminder here. Here's our child care that we saw in the last section. So, for example, calling out automatic bill pay for this would be a great example where it maintains cash flow. So if a due date is February 2nd, and we can push that out to the 12th, if need be, that's a 10-day period to mess with. Gives you that flexibility, that lag, and that's important. So now we need to look a little bit further on that because we know that's a bill to our service. Now we know a bill to ourselves is not a service. You have some flexibility when that can be paid, and in fact, there's not necessarily a due date on it unless you want to create one or can stick to it. But again, the whole point is to pay everything that is owed within that month. So if we go down here, we look and say, we can see in the bi-monthly scenario of $2,239 is the paycheck scenario. That's what Jasper receives every two weeks. So sometimes bills get cleared a little bit later than what you expect. You know, you cross over from say January 31st and you have some money in there, let's say on 2-4. So some of these things might not have been paid, but you can pay them afterwards because your cash is built up. So what we're saying here is, they're gonna have some overlap or some lag over from one month to the next. And again, we're, we will get into that later, as I always say with other exercises. But you can see here, maybe Jasper, just for that month, his cash flow was a little bit different. So he, didn't pay these bills in January, but maybe on the 4th when he got his next paycheck, he was able to cover these. Now you can see in February here, the amounts are doubled because they weren't paid in January. So maybe he just went back and really paid all of what January was owed. And it puts him back on track. Let me fix that a little bit there. So what you want to make sure though with doing this is that it's okay that it happens once in a while. Sometimes a cell phone bill, let's say for example, is due on the 31st and it doesn't come out of your account to February 4th. Well, when you get into do that new month of February, let's say the bill is 115 and that was for January, you're gonna get into February and it's gonna be 230 total. But again, we're always balancing our money. So you should have cash in your account one way or another as you keep going through your budget every month to balance everything out. It will always balance out, that's what a budget does. So just keep that in mind um, but not, try not to get into the habit of blowing off any of your bills, even if it's paying yourself. So again, we'll see more scenarios where this takes place. And if the budget is set up properly, more than likely in just about every case, you will not have the problem of worrying about paying your bills or having much of a carryover other than a couple days. Okay, so that will conclude this chapter, and we will see you in section 2.6. Thanks for joining.